Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this jacket. So I picked up a jacket from Fashion Nova that was kind of meant to be like an oversized kind of vibe, but it just didn't really fit. So I decided to revamp it. So if you would like to see how I did that, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I did was I went on Pinterest and I looked up a couple jackets for inspiration. I know I wanted to do a pretty big back piece and possibly some things on the sleeves, so these are just a couple of examples. I wasn't a huge fan of the length of the jacket, so all I'm doing here is just rolling up the sides to see how far up I would want to crop it. And then I went in with a white pencil crayon and a ruler and I drew a line across the front of the jacket as well as the back of the jacket. I would say it was about 8 inches up from the bottom of the jacket. Next I went in with a pair of scissors and I just cut along that white line that I made. You really want to make sure you don't cut the front and the back fabric at the same time just to make sure that you get a precise line. So at this point I wasn't really sure how I was going to put these letters along the sleeves but I printed out a page of Japanese writing just as reference and here I'm just grouping together a bunch of the symbols that I liked. So because I was freehanding the sleeves I decided to draw it on with a white pencil crayon first and then I threw the jacket on to see how it would look. Now you want to put your jacket on a hard surface and I suggest if you're working with sleeves it's always a good idea to put something in between the sleeves just in case so your paint doesn't leak through. Here I'm going in with the Angelus Acrylic Leather Paint in white. I got this off of Amazon, it's commonly used on shoes and on jackets, and I'm just tracing over the lettering. So this is what we're working with. It's probably going to take about one or two, maybe three coats, just to make sure that that color really pops. So for the back piece, I wanted to throw a dragon on the back. I think they look so sick. And here's a picture of a dragon that I printed off from Google. Again, I'm using it as reference because I'm freehanding this. And it's great because you can really make it as big or as small as you want. In this case, I wanted the dragon to creep up onto the upper part of the jacket just over the slit. So I traced my whole pattern out in the white pencil crayon and here I'm going in with the white paint. It's not necessary, especially if you're putting color on the back, but this is just what I chose to do. I used it as a base for my Angelus acrylic leather paint in red just to make it pop. So for the belly of the dragon, I decided to mix the red and the white paint together to create a pink. This is a great way to add some dimension. So I wanted to go over the parts of the face with the white, again it's a dark background, I want the red to pop so I'm starting with the white, going in with the red. So I did work on this jacket over the course of a couple days, I wanted to give the paint enough time to dry, especially because if you're going on top with other colors, you want to make sure it doesn't smudge. I wanted this jacket to be super detailed and so I made these scales really small. It was probably the longest part about the entire jacket. So we're back again with the red paint, we're adding some spikes, making it look super scary. And then I picked up some Angelus acrylic leather paint in black. This was used to add some detail to the stomach. This is also great, I used this to clean up the edges. Yeah, I just love red so you know we had to paint the sleeves too. Okay. 
So I didn't catch any footage of me painting the hair, but it's kind of just a blend together, kind of like a flame. And I also added some detail onto the hands, on the claws, a little bit on the face, added some dots around the outside because you know why not, and I added my signature at the bottom. And boom, we're done! I love the way this jacket turned out, the slits are awesome, the colors are popping, and of course I had to pair it with these tall red chaps because why not? This is actually the look I wore for my 21st birthday, so if you want to go see the whole thing, just go onto my Instagram at justcallmekp underscore. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, even subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!